世界には人の運命を司る何らかの超越的な律神の手が存在するのだろうか少なくとも人は自らの意志さえ自由にはできない。I didn't know this was in another language, but okay.、Um, it's hard to happen just a few days ago. I live in a wonderful house with a wonderful family. Wait, hold on. Where is this? Yeah, it didn't say anything about another language. I, I don't know. I don't know. That was. Yeah. But every night, I can see his face staring down upon me on those weird, terrifying, cold dreams. I can't do anything. Not even blink. Or move a centimeter of my body. I always find myself inside a coffin, staring at his face. And he grins. Once the night falls, I shiver to even the slight breeze as the temperature drops. I hate the cold up here. Fix the problem. The cold night embraces me once again. I can feel it coming from behind and holding me by the shoulders. And he must be around here somewhere. Exit the game or sleep? It's not time for that. Oh. Stairs. Down. Who the hell is that? My heart beats faster for a few seconds as I notice him standing there. The shadows almost covered him from my sights. I see us to the left, staring at the void as always. He approaches. But is just as friendly as always. I gotta take a moment to calm myself and talk. Did it again. Hi, sis. Why are, you,、uh, why are you awake this hour? I dream. I scratch my head before giving a response, making sure my words sound as normal and as relaxed as possible before asking him his motives to being awake too. I suspect that he just shrugs his shoulders. I'm on school tomorrow. Teacher got sick. I ask if he will go to sleep soon and he won't stay up too late. He gives a smug smile as a response. No promises. He moves to another area. Piano room? More stairs? I wish I had my own piano room. Well, music room, because I never play piano, I always play trombone, so that'd be my thing. Kitchen, okay. Let's go outside. Not time for that? Never mind. Let me shut my mouth. Corridor? Okay, where have we gone? Um, now he's in the kitchen. Illuminated only by the light of the fridge, he's staring at the food inside. Nothing was sweet enough for him. The sweet low buzz of the refrigerator is the only sound in the area. I decided to ask him if he's hungry and he nods in agreement. Sandwich for both? I let out the side along with a tired smile and begin staring, well, not staring, but starting to make simple sandwiches for us both. Bread, cheese, and a slice of meat on the middle. Far from fancy, but more than enough for a stomach.、Mm. I'll tell you all a quick story.、Um, I remember being younger, like my younger brother, when we were, we were kids.、Uh, he was making himself a sandwich. 
and he looks up, you know, bread, cheese, and a slice of meat. And he ripped the cheese in half and went to go throw it away. <laughs> because he's like, oh, it's ruined. The cheese split in half. And me and my mom, we yelled at him because we're like, you're wasting cheese. It's put together and put it on the bread. And he was all like, no, no, it's, it's, it's broken half. I'm like, this isn't like, you know, a computer or like, you know, a bug. Yeah, you don't just throw it away. And he just, I don't know, brain fart, but he didn't understand that. And it was, it's just funny to me. I still think about that. Like it was yesterday because he really was just gonna throw a whole slice of cheese away just because it ripped in half and it's like oh i can't use it anymore okay um he eats them with delight as i munch on mine quietly and finish first i made mine much more smaller and he always is a slow eater talk I call myself i decided to ask him about school and his friends his eyes have little sparkles as he begins talking about them um, I just remained silent during his speech. He talks a lot about a girl he thinks might like him. I give a small chuckle and pat his head. He seems to genuinely enjoy it. A expression of happiness appearing on his face. As he continues eating, I stand up and start moving around the house, ready to put my plan in order. So what are we going back to the room? Okay, we're not going back to the room. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I took a deep breath as I approached the only door that was left open on the house. My hands tremble a bit as I touch the handle. I lock it and keep the key with myself. Hesitation grows inside of my body. He's still in the kitchen, okay. I walk right past him and he still eats his sandwich without making a noise or noticing me. I pretend to be cleaning a few crumbs on the corner and I slowly open the drawer.
Well, I'm trying to understand and perceive what even happened. Um, not 100% sure. But I did not want to stab the brother. I just, I, I, I didn't. Um, but that was, that was, uh, pretty bizarre. I'll say that for sure. Um, so yeah, this is Sister. If you, you know, enjoyed this game, you know, of course, you know, I'll link it below so you can try it and try the other options and see what happens if you do take the stabbing route. I couldn't do it. I at least wanted to take the knife for protection purposes. Um, and of course, you know, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, it's up to you what you want to do. And uh, yeah, I will see y'all in the next one.